Hi there, Awakening Showgirls. It's Kelita coming to you live from the Feather's Nest. And I'm so grateful that the universe gives me reminders all the time uh, of what I already know, but, but it just gently, lovingly reminds me. And I have a couple of stories from not so long ago of two great reminders that I have really taken to heart and I want to share with you. My mom, I was with my mom a couple of months ago, and she was about to make some soup. Now, she's a pretty intuitive cook, but somehow she got it in her brain that in order to make this soup she wanted to make, she had to find the recipe. She couldn't find the recipe. And then she had a whole reframe. I watched her have this reframe of, wait a minute, I don't need the recipe to this soup. I need to ask myself, what do I want this soup to taste like. And that guided her to know what to put in it, how she wanted it to taste. That felt like a very powerful message. I didn't know how powerful until I had a more direct experience a couple of weeks down the road where I was going for a haircut to my haircut guy that I love and have gone to for a long time. Um, but I had it in my mind that I was going to explain to him in hair cutter language how I wanted him to cut my hair. <sighs> I had some hair cutting lingo, concave, this, that, um, and what he did did not make me happy. <laughs> you know how it is when you get a haircut you don't love. I Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually had my hair pulled back in some of my recent vlogs. It was because I was not happy with my hair. That's that's a kind of a side note. The, the juice of how it hit me was I didn't tell him how I wanted it to look and feel to the touch and to the eye. I didn't tell him those things. Those That kind of information he could work with. I needed to trust that my hair cutter, who is totally schooled and knows perfectly how to cut hair, that he could work with me telling him how I wanted it to look and feel and move. Those are the sensual experiences that I can articulate really well. And, um, and I'm gonna just just in case this didn't the the through line didn't jump through to you as it has totally jumped through for me from these two stories. The more that I, that you, that anyone, the more that we know how we want our sensual experience to be, and by sensual I mean how we want to feel, how we want to look and how we want to, um, what we want to taste. Um, I really mean the senses, touch and taste and smell and sight. The more in touch with how we want to experience our lives in the world through our very senses, through our bodies, and use that as the way to articulate it, not only just to our hair cutter, and not just when we're uh, making soup and knowing what ingredients to put in, but when we're focusing our attention moment by moment and day by day on what we want to bring our attention to, to our senses and not have to figure the whole flipping thing out. Most of the time, um, we're taught, we're taught through school and through lots of modeling, through families, through so many avenues we are taught to figure it all out. How, am I, how exactly am I going to get what I want? I got to micromanage the poop out of it so that I, you know, little step by little step. Yeah, I got to put a half teaspoon of cumin in and, and then two tablespoonfuls of olive oil and chop up a celery stalk just so, right? To have the soup how I want it to taste? Uh-uh, no. To know how, it want, how you want it to taste. Taste it along the way. Use, use your senses, use your senses. 
with the haircut. Don't tell the haircutter who knows what he's doing. Like I did. Yeah, I want I want I want that kind of snip and that kind of no, no, I want it to look and feel this way. I want it to look and feel like this. Here's a picture. Here's the yeah. <sighs> My gosh. Yes. Yes. Reveling. Reveling in our senses. Big time showgirl sure awakening. I teach this. I know this. But I need reminders all the time to revel in my senses so that I can receive what I truly desire. So be it or better, beloved showgirls. Sure Let's revel. <laughs>